I mean, I feel like that's what they sub why they subscribe to us. Hey guys, welcome back. So uh, we got some more Project F stuff here. And look at that. We got a gosh dang old turbo manifold. It ain't bolted up, but it's where it needs to be. Yeah, kind of. And Our main concern we just wanted to see is the AC down here because it has these lines and uh, also this guy kind of in the way. But with this actually pushed up against where it is, it doesn't touch the AC, which is good. Yeah, it's right above it. But then this, it was the wastegate was, uh, flange was tape touching this. So I unbolted it and it, it can't go really anywhere else, but it can at least move. I could probably take this bracket off and let it sit maybe bolt it up against the side might work better but we think we're definitely going to take this off and then either replace it yeah. or just patch it this up is, and put it somewhere else this is like a 30 mil wastegate which and it also only kind of helps this side it doesn't so much help that side for exhaust gases so yeah, it doesn't really we're thinking of potentially cutting like a hole sawing this and then welding in like a just a straight out 66 mil yeah, 60, I think it's just a 60. Uh, whatever it is, yep. the bigger one. The bigger one. And that's what we're gonna do there. But uh, we really don't know what we're gonna do with the exhaust routing. It's gonna be a bitch. We're also gonna need heat like shielding on every line with this setup too. Yeah, I mean, I mean there's no the, working on your car like the, with uh, that turbo manifold there. The fuel lines are will need to be kind of bent out of the way and probably wrapped. I mean, this is not anywhere near where it needs to be. Yeah, it's not up against the block. It's up against, but it's still like almost touching. Even yeah. Whether it's up against the block like that, it's still touching. Yeah. It could still move farther that way, but yeah, I definitely need to get like heat shielding for those. At least on the, these. We're planning on possibly painting these with like actual good ceramic paint instead yeah. of like the shit that we used on the bottom bills. Yeah, I found this company, uh, I think, uh, I'll put it on the screen, but I think it's called Zybar and they make ceramic paint for headers and exhaust and other things it's like eighty dollars for four ounces but i'm gonna message them see if they can help us out because uh we want to header paint these with ceramic coating and then also wrap them just to reduce as much heat as possible yeah and uh if you're wrapping your headers do not use fiberglass wrap unless you're never going to work on your car never touching you will it. regret it regret it you will regret your life decisions trust me been there done that got him hands full of fiberglass not fun yeah there's also like i mean just the freaking uh water pump inlet comes right there i mean it's it's really gonna be much higher up everything's kind of, gonna be kind tight. of like in that it is gonna be tight literally everything's gonna be tight here um in and like you know what well, we're also gonna have to think rethink of the spark plug uh wire routing we want to come from underneath now that we have the manifolds up like this true we're gonna want to come from underneath so it doesn't burn a plug and uh we also might just want to look into some like i've seen some kevlar sleeve like oh, stuff you could put on the spark too. plug yeah, boots yeah. just so we want as much we don't want to burn anything you know we don't want to burn through fuel line we don't burn through you know anything definitely uh, not we want this to be reliable lines. as reliable as it can and so um there'll be a lot more progress soon here we're gonna um we also decided on the turbo we think definitely comment down below let us know your suggestions for turbos we think we're gonna go with a um ebay or i guess from pfi speed uh, a gtx uh 35 82 82 r right, right? Is yeah r X or X? just r okay yeah so they're uh pretty decently sized turbo has a lot of potential for like this size of motor we could realistically with that turn all the way up make like 600 or more <laughs> yeah, i was gonna i was gonna actually get a smaller turbo than that so it spools faster but that the one i was looking at by cx racing was only actually capable of making 500 not, horsepower they said not only that the gt35 spools slower than the gtx 35 that'd be interesting 82 because R. it's a bigger turbo yeah so that doesn't it, make it much spools, sense it spools faster but I mean, even then, it, it's only capable of making 500 horsepower, they say. So we'd rather get a turbo capable of making more and then not have to upgrade. And then turn it down. And, yeah, and then turn it down instead of just not making, a, you know, as much horsepower as we might want or something in the future if we want to go crazy with it. Um, yeah, so that's that's our plan now. We, we got some other goodies, uh, like, already set to be being bought by this thing. Like, we have a list. And uh, I'm still actually making the list, but uh, yeah, we just want to give a little update. We like I literally just came here and put yeah. this on the car. I was like, once he, Tristan got it, if you follow our Instagram, you would have already seen this kit. But seeing it on the car, it's really awesome. Yeah, it is awesome. But uh, I mean, there's definitely going to be some fabrication here. And uh, yep, 
Yep, that's just all there is to it. Also, the reason it looks like this, this uh, is a used kit. So he talked to the company that makes these on eBay and uh, he got a good deal. He didn't buy it with the turbo. He just bought the exhaust manifolds, which is good. Saved yeah, some money. Don't buy, the, don't buy it with the turbo. Yeah, you can source your own. And yeah, they, they sold me these manifolds for 325 bucks shipped. And then uh, some other people who have bought just the manifolds from them, a new one goes like for 450 So it's actually pretty worth it. While you're at it, you know, you see, you have this like, this is V banded over there. You should get a V band here. I know. I don't know why they didn't do that. I was like, what? V bands would be better. It makes no sense because, I mean, this fits like shit. Yeah. But uh, maybe yeah. it is for the fitment right there is more accurate, and that side needs some adjustment. Maybe right, it does. Flexibility. I mean, we don't, yeah, we just don't know yet. Yeah, but um, uh, that's our plans for it. We don't definitely want to reduce as much intake temps, you know, under the hood temps as possible. So ceramic paint, no matter what, we're probably going to do that and then header wrap. And uh, yeah, once we're done working on like the Trans Am and other stuff, I mean, I don't see why we couldn't just like get this running. <laughs> like yeah. once Tristan gets the parts, I mean, even right here, we can get some stuff done or get some like measurements at least. Once he has a turbo, we can, you know, actually mount up the headers where they're going to be get the turbo on and then we can really figure out where that's going to be yeah. routed and uh, this type of stuff we can weld ourselves we have austin or we can have somebody else you know weld it this is just way more certain than what the supercharger would have been there's pros and cons to either you know if you're doing a supercharged swap or if you're doing turbo yeah so i mean this is basically all the progress we have right now but uh soon we're going to before we get all the parts we're gonna i'm assuming before we get all the parts we're gonna rip the engine out again do everything that we need to do to get the engine solid like spark plugs uh route all the uh, vacuum lines do all the stuff that's gonna be a, a pain with it in the car and then you know then it will be good to go and run to just slap in and then figure out the rest of the turbo yeah. stuff because like the intercooler is going to be quite the routing we're, uh, I mean, just the exhaust, like I said, it's gonna, we don't, we, we don't know what we're gonna do yet. I and mean, literally, exit, literally right now, no that what we can just do to get it running is we can get the turbo on, get it all bolted up, get the harness, just all the tiny miscellaneous things that we need to do, fuel lines, power steering pump vacuum line needs lines. to be, vacuum lines, but just do that, then have the turbo, and then just have it kind of just like turn down I mean, could run, and then run without that the exhaust. intake going straight into the in, or get the, the in in whatever you call it, the charge from yeah, the, the supercharger pipe. going straight into the intake no intercooler and just I mean, running it like no boost almost i mean at that point you didn't you wouldn't have to make an exhaust i mean i guess you would for the i'm just O2. saying i'm just saying to get it running yeah yeah you wouldn't really need an exhaust on the turbo yep at that point well just one that goes straight down basically yeah. you'd still, you still need the you, you wouldn't want the exhaust to shoot in the in in also, engine bay um we need to be able to tune it. So yep. we'll need uh, HP for sure. Like there's just no way that this is gonna run with the turbo. So Garner is gonna tune this. Oh, uh, he's decided. Because okay. because he literally will be basically have done oh, the exact yeah. same the setup. Cam, the, uh, what's his name on Instagram? Yeah, so the, like besides the more cam. More boost. More boost. Besides yeah. the cam and uh, this specific turbo, he will literally have been running this exact same setup otherwise. Yeah. So actually he will, he should be able to tune it really easy. Um, you know, I'm not I'm not opposed to having someone else tune the other cars just because like I don't know. Uh the Tahoe doesn't really need anything special. Just needs the just yeah. needs a run. <laughs> the the Bonnie, it could be it, it really doesn't matter. Uh as long as whoever does it is uh skilled. And I know more more boost does a good job because he's tuned several other people's cars, so yeah, we'll see. But uh, breaking news, I have reached back out to Elliot, and he is selling me an engine for my Bonneville. It, it's raw knocking, uh, but it should be good, you know? I mean, the machine shop, which we're going to take it to, will tell us yes or no if, if anything is uh, not salvageable or whatnot. And 100 bucks is not a lot to lose, so yeah, I'm, if it is, I'm pretty no. desperate right now. So, I mean, 100 bucks I will spend on that engine, and if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Basically, I'm just going to get it tonight with Isaiah. We're, I'm going to tear it down in my garage, and then hopefully bring it to a machine shop on Monday and Damn. see what they say. Cause I just want to get this shit moving and I want that car to be, to be running. Run it. Yeah. I mean, and, and I, I if, always if did want a rebuilt engine after the, the L36 went in. I, I always wanted to like to rebuild that, that was engine. our plan from the beginning i mean we, we, we said it we said it in the videos like the camaro putting the camaro motor in there was just to get it running again yeah but it was just doomed from the beginning because the the camaro motor was just trash it was b like i mean so ever since we put the uh ever since we put the uh the catch can on it the the car had you could notice a lot of uh crankcase 
like uh pressure not moisture but uh vapor coming out of the catch can and then you know the day that we pretty much figured out it was toast uh, we took the dipstick out while it was running, and there was just a lot of freaking. Lots of blow by the, the rings are toast. And the rings are on, toast. And on a boosted motor, which he's going to push more crankcase pressure, which is going to cause more damage. And it makes sense why those rings were toast because that that Camaro with that. I mean, like I flogged the hell out of it just mm -hmm. in my short ownership of it, and I'm sure the kid owned it, and everyone before him flogged the hell yep. out of this car. So it was it was kind of doomed from the start. So it's going to get a rebuilt engine like I always wanted. And that's gonna cost some money, but you know I'm willing to drop it on my Bonneville. I want it, I want it to be a solid car. And then if it still leaks coolant after that, then uh, don't let's just not say that's a possibility. Just like get, turn disconnect fuel lines, turn on the fuel pump, send a match in there. Dude, I was almost thinking like for a video we should just send the mo the Bonneville motor. I'm just afraid of breaking it. something else, like, like the transmission or something. Yeah, something could break. We should do that actually. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Anyways, let's send it off here. We got a 3.8 turbo with the ZZP XP cam, ported cylinder heads, ported lower and upper intake manifold, 92 millimeter throttle body. This thing's going to be it's a gonna, ripper. It's going to be sick. X, ZZP XP cam, 130 pound valve springs. Um, it's going to rev high. It's going to make lots of boost. It'll be able to handle the power. Oh, really yeah. excited. Freaking comp cams, uh, lifters. This thing is built for The transmission RPM. and the rear end have no chance. They don't. They're like they're I, gonna die. I cannot be clutch dropping this thing like I was before because it will just die. Blow it In up. In fact, I was thinking, what are we gonna do with the track if I can't clutch drop it? We're you're really gonna have to just top end it I because have to baby it. even top Off ending it will break it. Like if you just sixty foot will be horrible. Then like you know past that you know the three hundred foot past maybe should, should should have some power, but you might break something. Maybe so. I should short shift at like. 4,000, 5,000 RPM. Not make it just top. so I'm not yeah. just, you know, shifting it in top end power. That's still break. That's still break. You'd still be making <laughs> more than sock power. Oh, yeah. Way more than sock. So, yeah, that's going to be freaking something we figure out once we get there. T56, you know, follow our Patreon. We need a T56 for this. We need like a Ford 8.8 .8 or a Ford 9 inch in the rear. As of right now, our money isn't really going into parts, it's going into tools yeah. and a, a usable space. So just uh, just consider that when you're when you're donating, that all of it is just used on tools that we, we need and we use every every weekend. So yeah, guys, uh, we'll make sure you subscribe and uh, maybe buy a jury rig sticker if you're really wanting to. And uh, we'll see you guys later.